thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. And as a token of our gratitude, we hope that you will accept these next nine Letters and Numbers games. And because we really, really care, we'll even throw in a couple of puzzle pros to help you do them. Starting with the 75 times fantastic Louis Turner. Hey, Richard. And the dependable word extender, David Hustle. <laughs> hey, Richard. Thank you. And now let's meet the people playing along with you tonight. Our contestants, first up, our carryover champion, the commercialisation manager, Ben Fisher. Welcome back again, Ben. Thank you, Richard. Now, last night, rather worryingly, we had you laid out with malaria after your travels, but uh, sometimes your travels involve slightly healthier activities. Yeah, well, I lived in the UK for a few years, and uh, like many other backpackers or people that go over there, I got a heat throw injection, so you start putting on some pounds. So in the first winter, there's not much to do, so I decided to run the London Marathon. So I spent about uh, four months training, and then come April, I ran the, uh, the London Marathon. Well, and you succeeded, and how long did it take you? I certainly succeeded. It took four hours and seven minutes. Um, I was trying to beat the four-hour barrier, but I hit a a wall at about 22 miles. That sounds pretty good. And I guess uh, the marathon run and malaria have two things in common, or one thing in common, which is afterwards you're just completely flat out. <laughs> yes, pain. <laughs> but one. great achievement. Well done and welcome back. Thank you. And tonight's challenger is studying to be a GP, Kylie Alexander. Hello, Kylie. Evening. So you're a registrar at the moment. I am. And as a registrar, you've actually worked in a whole range of really very varied places, haven't you? Certainly. Um, since deciding to go into the GP training program, I've worked in um, Kakadu in the Northern Territory, the Riverland, um, on the south coast of South Australia down at Goolwa, and now in the Adelaide Hills. So, not really in the cities, and do you plan eventually to be a doctor in a, a regional area? I do hope to work in a regional area, yes. I'm sure they'd be very pleased about that. Welcome, and good luck to both of them tonight, Ben Fisher and Kylie Alexander. The challenges get underway as they always do. First of all, with some letters, 30 seconds is all that you have to make the longest word possible from those selected letters. And uh, Ben, what would you like? Can I get a consonant, please? Sure. So, let's start with H. Um, and another consonant? R. And another consonant? S. Um, a vowel, please? A. Another vowel? U. Another vowel? E. Um, a consonant, please? C. Um, a vowel, please? A. And finally, a consonant. And to finish, M. First thinking time. Unpack is the most likely uh, word to use in a kind of packing context, but let's have a look. U-N-C-A-S-E. It is listed here. To remove from its case or to strip, bear, reveal, make known. Perfectly fine. Good uh, sixes. Solid start. Um, now, I thought we were on our, our way to Eucharist with those first seven letters, but uh, a word we've had several times before. Uh, and then along came uh, the A and the N, and suddenly another word we've had quite uh, often. Ranches is a seven. Add a U to that is raunches, and raunch is a verb to embrace in a salacious way. Very nicely found. Well done, David. But six each, nice a solid start for Ben and Kylie. Next letters, your first chance to choose, Kylie. Thanks. Can I have a consonant, please? Sure, thanks, Kylie. L. And another one? G. And a vowel? E. And another vowel? O. And a consonant? M. Another consonant? D. Another consonant? R. And a vowel? U. 
And another veil. A. And here's that clock. Thank you. 